So to kick things off today, it is my pleasure to introduce Jen Stringer, who is, of course, the Associate Vice Chancellor for IT and the Chief Information Officer for the University of California, Berkeley. So welcome, Jen. Glad to have you here. Thank you. Um, so I just wanted to kick off this conversation around um, Berkeley IT's cloud strategy to sort of set some context. Um, for most of you know um, that I have been uh, the CIO for a little, I think a little over two years now, or maybe a little under two years. I keep forgetting because, you know, COVID's made us all so crazy. Um, and one of the things that I began to, to do as I, you know, took on the role was to understand, you know, where we were in terms of you know our infrastructure um, I didn't come from a space uh, an infrastructure space so didn't pay a lot of attention to networking and data centers and that kind of thing <laughs> um, and so um, so expensive what does that mean when you say when you go to the cloud I don't know um, but um, you know it, it really began to to, to um, I began to really recognize that how important it is um, as a, a public institution and a premier public institution um, that we need to understand where our investment is in our infrastructure and what our roadmap is for you know, meeting uh, really research. Um, that is where we're seeing the, the tremendous pressures on our infrastructure right now. Uh, I, I don't want to say we've got it all handled in the administrative space, but our team has done a fantastic job of virtualizing all of our, you know, major administrative systems. They're running very cheaply in our data center right now, and they're not consuming a lot of power. Um, and we've done a really fantastic job in that space of sort of, you know, our own local cloud um, for our administrative systems. But research has just been, you know, putting a tremendous amount of pressure on our infrastructure. And as I started to dig into, you know, what it was that we needed, and honestly, it wasn't me digging in, it was also my team, like, raising their hand, um, it became very clear that we needed um, a, a, a true roadmap for how we were going to address computing infrastructure, um, particularly in the research space, but on campus as a whole, and that we really needed to take a step back. And at that point, um, the CTO, Bill Allison, who, you know, helps um, sort of, you know, coordinate some of this work along with you, Amy and others, um, you know, reminded me, I have to say, embarrassingly enough, um, reminded me, hey, you know, we have this cloud strategy that was created under, you know, a, a, a quite a while ago, um, you know, under the old CIO, and, and we really hadn't been able to get a lot of traction on it, um, because, you know, we were distracted with other things, and, you know, leadership um, you know, changes and, and also where we were going to invest. Um, and as we started to look at our infrastructure concerns and, and you know, Warren Hall, um, for those of you who may or may not know, as our data center, and as I started to, you know, finally look really at the cloud strategy and what it meant um, for the campus and what directions it was pointing us to, um, we really began to undertake a holistic approach, which I think is like sort of the right approach. It's not a cloud strategy per se. What you need is a holistic approach to how you're going to handle, um, you know, computational infrastructure that is going to support a higher ed institution um, and its research and teaching mission into the future. And so um, I think we're beginning to do that. And I think that that's what we're presenting today. I'm very excited, quite frankly, I've learned so much in this um, you know, journey as we're um, trying to understand what the right direction for the campus is. I'm having lots of conversations with my um, colleagues in terms of understanding you know, where we are. Um, I guess I'll just, say most importantly, because I think this is what is really, um, I have come to understand even more, um, more so in, in just the past few months, how important this is to recruit, recruiting and retain, retaining faculty. And so having a clear strategy, having an investment um, is not just about, you know, the reality of our campus and what we can handle and what technology decisions we make. It's also about being competitive in, you know, the higher ed environment in R1 institutions, 
looking at our peers and understanding what the expectations of graduate students and faculty members are when they come to our institution. What are they expecting in terms of cloud services? What are they expecting in terms of our core network? What are they expecting in terms of our infrastructure offerings? You know, are, what do we have an, um, uh, you know, a, a compute, a faculty compute allowance? What does that look like? Um, what are our resources around, you know, secure computation um, and sensitive data and storage is a huge conversation. So I know we're talking about cloud, I'm putting this in quotes because this is really about what is the ecosystem that we are um, developing and designing uh, to make sure that we stay the number one public institution in the country. Um, and I will say that right now we are going to be making some key choices that I think are, um, I hope will continue to keep us on the competitive track. Um, but we've got a lot of work to do in that space. And um, so I guess with that, I'll turn it over to you, Bill. Is that who I'm turning it over to? And I hope that was helpful.